family member took the stand in the trial of Alec Murdoch today. We heard from Maggie Murdoch's sister. She spoke about who Maggie and Paul were as people. She said Maggie was a girl's girl, but had no problem raising two boys who she loved dearly. Maggie was sweet. Um, she was kind of a free spirit. She was always up for anything that was going on. Um, she loved her family. She loved her boys. Um, Buster and Paul were her world. And Marion also said Paul was misrepresented in the media and that he was, quote, a sweet boy. We'll hear more from her testimony coming up at 11 o'clock. And we also heard from a man who said he worked for the Murdoch family for years, Roger Dale Davis Jr. He took the stand today and testified about working at the family's property just hours before Maggie and Paul were murdered. Fox Carolina's Grace Runkle has been covering the trial from Walterboro and has more tonight. Roger Dale Davis Jr. brought us back to a key piece of evidence from the crime scene that we haven't heard about for weeks. The pools of water found near the dog kennels and specifically found near Paul's body. Now Davis used to clean out those kennels and he was very meticulous. So he says he instantly knew that something seemed off when he returned to that area the morning after the murders. The, the picture that you're seeing there, that hose, is that the way you would want to uh, read? Wind it up? No. How do you know? Um, I'm very particular how I roll that hose up. And it's kinked up. If you notice, there's pressure on that hose. Um, somebody used that hose out that I did. The state posed the idea that Murdoch washed down at the scene of the murders. That's why they say there was so much water by Paul's body. The defense countered earlier in the trial, saying the water was probably just from washing out the kennels. Davis says, based on how the hose was rolled up and where the water was, someone must have used it after him. The defense pulled up the kennel video, which Paul took around 846 the night of the murders. In the video, you can see the hose on the ground. Defense attorney Jim Griffin proposed maybe Paul used it. And if Paul had not been meticulous like you, it wouldn't be unusual to see water build up where you see it in the photo, right? Is that right? Yes. Okay. And, uh, and sometimes the dogs would knock over the water, water bowl. They would. And that would, and I think maybe we can see in the photos, that would cause water to run off too as well, right? Oh yeah, it would run off. Griffin also asked Davis about a time one of the family's hunting dogs got hurt. Davis testified the dog needed to be put down and Murdoch asked him to shoot the dog because he says he couldn't. The state countered that with the fact that it's well known Murdoch was a hunter. In Walterboro, Grace Runkle, Fox Carolina News. Now, the testimony focused on how Murdoch's wife Maggie was acting in the days before she and their son Paul were shot and killed on the hunting property there in Carlton County. Again, we'll have more of that coming up at 11. And former